Good afternoon and welcome to NASA's Johnson Space Center for our Crew 9 news conference today. We are joined today here in person with our Crew 9 astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, and Butch Wilmore. There were some issues, of course, that happened with Starliner. There were some issues, of course, that happened that prevented us from returning on Starliner. And I'll start with me. There were questions that I, as the commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked, and I did not. At the time, I didn't know I needed to. And maybe you could call that hindsight, but I'll start and point the finger and I'll blame me. I could ask some questions, and the answers to those questions could have turned the tide. Um, so blame, that's a term, I don't like that term, but certainly there's responsibility throughout uh, all the programs, uh, and certainly you can, you can start with me. Um, responsibility with Boeing, yes. Responsibility with NASA, yes. All the way up and down the chain. We all are responsible. We all own this. Uh, given the opportunity, would you guys uh, go up on Starliner again? Yes. Because we're going to rectify all the issues that we, that we encountered. Yeah. We're going to fix them. We're going to make it work. Uh, Boeing's completely committed. NASA is completely committed. And with that, I get on in a heartbeat. Yeah, I would, I would agree. The, the spacecraft is really capable. Uh, there were a couple things that need to be fixed, like Butch mentioned, and um, folks are actively working on that. Uh, but it's a, it is a great spacecraft, and it has a lot of capability that other spacecraft don't have. And to see that thing successful and to be part of that program is an honor. You know, this is a lot bigger than, you know, Butch and myself, like we've talked about already. This is, a, this is the International Space Station program, and there's a lot of, you know, wheels that are turning and wickets that, are, that we have to go through to get people up to the International Space Station to do all of the amazing science that we're doing up there. We recognize that. We know that, just like anybody else in the astronaut office. And we came, as Butch has mentioned before, prepared. And we are ready to do that pivot and be part of that bigger thing that's not just about us. Space industry in the Houston area, 23,000 total. In the past, um, when there have been issues... I mean, we're, we are scheduled on Wednesday to meet with Boeing leadership, um, the program managers, um, senior ch uh, chief engineers, to discuss some of these issues. They want to come together with us, Sonny and myself, because we live through this with them and get on board with what the future looks like. And having flight crew with background in test and acquisition involved in the processes going forward to make sure that we're dotting every I and crossing every T. Um, um, but still, that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed success in anything. Like we've said many times, this is a tough business. And uh, we're learning all the time to go further and further and further. 